barely 24 hours after Mahmoud Yakubu, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced that INEC was fully prepared to deploy electronic transmission of results and the INEC Resolve Viewing Portal, IREV, in next month's off-season election, the PDP has called for the removal of the EMO Resident Electoral Commissioner. The PDP and other political parties had written several letters to INEC. Recently, the political parties, including the PDP, the continuing stay of Professor Agu as Imo Rec is provocative. Why is it provocative? Because many parties had led a protest to say we don't trust her, we don't believe in her ability to be independent, we don't believe that she will not be compromised, having regards to what she, she had done before. The party's National Publicity Secretary says the party has engaged in robust campaigns ahead of the off-season elections in Bayalsa, Kogi and Imo states and is setting a victory. In Bayalsa state, the PDP has a miracle governor. I'm sure the whole world has attested to that. It's a performing governor. The governor who for the first time ever has constructed a bridge over the Atlantic to connect southern Niger, where the APC governorship candidate comes from. And Kogi said the update on that. We have a very popular candidate, Senator Dino Milai, whose popularity and public acceptance have completely dwarfed and dumbed the rejected APC candidate, Usman Ododo. Ododo, you will recall, is alleged to be responsible for the pitable state of local government councils in Kogi State, which have not been able to pay salaries, gratuities, and pensions, arising, and this is key, from his alleged role in the diversion of local government funds to Governor Yahaya Bilo. Governor Uzo Dima has never won an election in Nemo State, and you can take, check his record. It's on record that he said and boasted that he became governor through the Ben Johnson way, which is by fraud. Meanwhile, ahead of the November 11 polls in Kogi, Bayelsa, and Imo states, the electoral umpire, INEC, has said it is promising to provide free, fair, and credible polls. Mary Chinda, Arise News.